there was still a lot of racism here. And, uh, you know, I think there probably still is. It's just kind of more undercurrent because it's not fashionable anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there was a, because it was the government and NASA, and there was a lot more integration within the, the industry. Uh, but even so, uh, uh, the uh, black engineers and employees, regardless of their uh, ability, were still kind of treated second class. Women the same way as pretty much as today, you know, they were paid a lot less for a lot more skill. And uh, uh, it was back during that time. I wasn't in on much of the uh, movement or any of that until I met the Cashins and got into there. First guy that uh, I bumped into was Andrew Dawkins, uh, who was a radio disc jockey for uh, WEUP. Uh, he used the radio name, his professional name was Sugar Daddy. Yeah. And he was, a lot of people thought he was kind of an Uncle Tom because he liked hanging out with white people. But what he was was uh, more of an educator or a missionary. You know, he was, he was teaching white people and was exposing white people to the best of Alabama black culture. Uh, he got uh, me and the woman I was dating at the time tickets to uh, John, uh, James Brown's concert out at the Coliseum. And that was killer. <laughs> Man's got a killer band. And uh, all other kinds of, uh, you know, got us into the Elks Club on Pulaski Pike, where we heard B.B. King doing a Chitlin Circuit uh, tour live. <laughs> They're right there in the best of all possible venues, you know, in a, in a, in a club like that. Uh, sent me and the woman I was dating down to Birmingham to the French Quarter uh, Club down there. And we got a table, and in walks Jimmy Smith, with the, playing Hammond organ. Uh, so he, you know, he educated us a lot, like I say. <laughs>